Hello and welcome again to Tune Insiders. Today I'm going to walk you through on how to connect your Zoom H4n with your condenser microphone. You might need to know that most of the condenser mics need phantom power to activate them. Luckily, Zoom H4n is equipped with this kind of plug-in power for your mic and it has even two options of 24 volt and 48 volt. We need to turn this feature on because the Zoom H4n Phantom Powers feature is currently inactive in a factory setting by default to save your battery. We highly recommend you to use a small 2-in-1 cable which is usually used to power the PlayStation Portable Series 1000 until 3000 series as you can see in this video. It has the USB connection for your audio interface mode but also allows you at the same time to provide your Zoom with power. You could also just connect your Zoom to a portable USB charger or any USB power connection to give it the power it needs. We put the Amazon link for you in the description. Let us start. Turn on the Zoom H4n in the normal recording mode and I will show you the different features in the audio interface mode later. Connect your XLR cable to your microphone and make sure it follows the shape configuration which is usually embossed on the cable and chipped in on the mic plugin as a direction. Then, connect another end of the cable which is the male one into the zoom input number one. Now it's connected. Push the number one button on the zoom input and press record button once just to check. Most of the time, a lot of people are furious when they find that the microphone doesn't make any response. After that, press stop. First, go to the menu and select the input submenu, then choose the phantom power. Activate the 48 volt power mode which will be valid for most of the condenser mic, but always read your microphone manual first to make sure which voltage applies your specific microphone. Then go again to the zoom main screen and check it with the record button. You might find it's working, but only on the left audio channel. This occurs because this is how it works in the normal recording mode. Everything will be separated by default. Now, to make the sound go into both channels, we need to activate the mono mix feature. Go to the menu again and then select the submenu input. Then find the mono mix and turn it on. When we are going to press record on the main screen, you will hear that now the mic is using both channels as mono mix. You can always adjust the volume as usual depending on the sound level you need. If you have two mics connected and want to separate the sound into different channels as left and right, you need to turn off the mono mix and also to turn off the input 1 or 2 link feature above the mono mix feature. That basically covers our needs in the recording mode. Now let us move to the audio interface mode. Connect your Zoom H4n with your computer and activate the audio interface mode with the same frequency as your computer. You can find the setting in our first video. See the link to it in the pop-up now. From the main screen, press the menu button and you will see the difference. In the audio interface mode, there will be no mono mix option. But instead, all the plugins will be mixed when you activated both of the plugin numbers 1 or 2. And it will be a mono mix when you choose to activate only one of them. 
If you really want to use all four inputs, which are two mics inputs plus two integrated Zoom microphones, we are going to cover it in our Zoom 4 channels mode video very soon. If you are looking forward to our next topic, press the subscribe button, please like and give us a comment if you think this video helps you. We are still a very small channel and your support means a lot for us. Is there something you would like to know more about the Zoom H4 and features which might help you in the future? For now, thank you for watching and see you soon!